You can have multiple home screens on iPhone, even with the same apps, and also for a different occasion. So you're on the home screen and running iOS 16, there's this search button at the bottom of the page. If you hold down anywhere on the home screen, all apps will start to wiggle and the search button turns into a couple of dots. You're currently in the edit mode, so you can edit everything here. By the way, if we haven't met before, this is Foxtag, where we don't do reviews, but instead we answer your Apple-related questions. Anyway, now you tap on the button with the dots and you'll get to this section. Here is where all your home screen pages are. And here you can do a bunch of different things. First, you can disable and enable any of the screens. So you uncheck one of them, it's like the circle under one of the pages, and it won't show up when you scroll through your homepage anymore. It doesn't get deleted, it just gets hidden. At times you may prefer one layout of apps over another one, and you have the option to choose which screens will be visible. All of these pages were created by me, of course, and I can decide which one gets shown up. Second, you can rearrange them in any way. You can see they're shaking, so just grab them, move them around, place them anywhere you want, and once you hit done, once you hit save, this is the layout and order in which they're gonna be saved. And then you can also remove any page you want. This will only get rid of the layout and the widgets present on that page. It will not delete your apps from your phone, and they will still be in the app library. This one shows up when you scroll all the way to the right on the home screen. So nothing gets deleted, only the layout and the actual page. But how do you create a new page? Well, there's no plus button or anything similar that would allow you to create your brand new page. However, in the edit mode, so again, hold down anywhere until everything starts to jiggle. During editing, there's always a new page ready for you all the way on the right. It's empty by default and it's waiting for you to put something on it. If you just grab one app from the app library and place it there, so exit the edit mode, you're done. And then the new page stays on the home screen. And is, of course, there is the new one in the all pages view. So you can place your widgets there or do anything that you need. What I also think that you'd need is to subscribe to the Fox Tech. Because here you're gonna find hundreds of tutorials and informational video about Apple devices. Anyways, if you'd rather have the dots on the home screen instead of a search button, you can switch to it in the settings. So you go to the home screen section right in the settings, and the option at the bottom allows you to turn off the search button. Don't worry, you can still swipe down on the home screen to activate search, it's not like turning the feature off, you just replace the search button with something more useful. And in our case, it's the dots indicator showing you how many pages you have and as, I mean, which one you are currently on. What's also really nice is that with iOS 16, we even have the option to have multiple lock screens ready for us to use. It doesn't only apply to the home screen, but to the one you see as the first thing when you light up your phone. So again, very similar principle here. Just hold down on it and you can swipe between them and choose the one you want to use. Then after some time, swipe it back to a different one. And creating new lock screens is also really easy. And with the options to add widgets to the lock screen, it can even serve a different purpose. It's not just a different wallpaper that separates one from the other, it's not like just a different picture. It can literally have different functionalities and features there. One more thing you need to know about is the focus mode. In iOS, you have the option to decide which lock screen, as well as the home screen, appears on your phone in a different conditions. Let's say you're doing your work, and during that time, you enable your work mode, or work focus mode which means that you block some phone calls, for example, choose which apps can give you notifications and which can't, and so on. It's up to you to decide what's gonna happen. But one of those things is choosing which home screen you'll see. You can, for example, put all your work-related apps to one specific page on the home screen, plus add one work-related widget there, and that page only gets shown to you when you have the work focus enabled. 
It can be really useful because you may not need these apps in other cases, when you're at home or during the night. So definitely utilize all the features you can. You can see exactly how to do it right on the screen. So in the focus section, you can choose and select which lock screens and lock screen will be visible. Now, if your iPhone keeps coming back to the home screen randomly, then check out this video right here where I explain it really well.